Hey guys, it's Rocket, and today I'm going to be doing a um, video of like natural looking makeup without look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. Very um, natural, easy going, um, light makeup day. This is good like during the summer especially because when I have a tan and I just come back from the pool, my skin looks really nice, my hair is really wavy and fresh. Well, right now it's straightened. It's like the first time I straightened it this summer. But, ooh, and earrings. But you get my point. Like, I feel really, really nice. Like, after I come back from the pool or the beach, I just feel refreshed, energized, relaxed. And that's basically the look that I'm going to be doing today. So, let's get started. Okay, first thing we're going to start with, of course, is... Hand, first thing we're going to start with is hand sanitizing the hands. And then this way, and the nectar. And a little bit of chapstick. This is SPF 4 in it, I think. So we'll let that sink into the skin. Covergirl Nature Looks Foundation. First foundation I ever owned. Ever, ever, ever. And the thing is, I'm not really using it as a foundation. I'm using it more as a concealer because I don't like to use all over foundation. But you can use this. I've used it as all over foundation. It works really nice. It smells good. And the ceiling is really light. So I'm just going to pour, press a little bit out of my hand. It's actually a lot. And I'm going to take this small um, concealer eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to put it, and I actually, I'm going to dab it, I'm going to put it right under my eyes for the dark circles, dab a little bit there, a little bit on the other eye, a little bit on this right here, in between the eyebrows, a little bit on my jawline, where all my veins are. A little bit around my nose. And a little bit to cover blemishes. Okay. And I'll just blend that in. So you raise all of that left over on the hand. Another blemish right here. I got this burn here on my face, and it still hasn't gone away from curling my hair. Okay, and I'm just going to use the excess, and I'm just going to put it, dab it a little bit on my cheeks, like one, two, blend that out, and put the rest on my eyelids. And uh, this is a really good way to prime your eyes if you don't have any eye primer, and I have all this extra, so I don't want to waste it. Okay, now I'm going to take a powder, this is a skin tone powder, this is what I use if I'm in a rush, um, if, this is what I use if I'm in a rush, if I just want to conceal my dark circles, I have quite, like, my skin tone right now, um, there's blemishes and there's like the burn, so it's a bit uneven, so that's why I use this today, this also gives a really nice, um, like fresh look on your face if you use liquid, but if I'm in a rush or I don't feel like doing that, I'll just use powder. But anyways, I'm just going to use a little bit of powder to set it, because so this is just for like extra coverage. So for the powder, I'm just going to take a dab of the skin tone, mix it around, blow off the extra, and then I'm just going to put a dab of the white, blow off the extra, and a real quick tap of the orange. It's still summer, we can use a little bit of bronze. 
And I'm just going to put that all over the face. And bring it down to the neck. I'm going to take this artistry card in medium. So let me just go through the colors. This is Fun Silk, Caprice, Cocoa, and Espresso. Yeah, an Espresso. The thing I'm going to do is act I actually really like this brush. I know it's tiny, but it gives a really nice um, light dusting onto the eyes. So I'm just going to use it. And I'm going to use fun silk, which is this one, roll it around the brush, and just dust it on the eyes. Okay. Next I'm going to take this bigger, um, my bigger, uh, my bigger eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to take this brown color, and I'm going to Put it in the crease of my eyes. This time I'm going to start um, in the inner corner and work it out because I'm just putting a little bit on there. You want it to be even. You don't want um, the color to collect very deep in any one place. Okay, and next I'm going to take this, the darkest brown color called Cocoa dab it twice and I'm just going to put it in the outer corner of the eyes. Just in the outter corner. So I'll just put it in there, work it around, and you've got a nice little depth. Okay. It's been raining for the past two days. Gosh, it's summer. Okay, and now I'm going to take a little bit of a skin tone color from the Stila palette, a uh, lovely second eye palette, and I'm just going to put it right underneath my brow bone, and, um, bring it into the brown just to clean up the edges. It's a fun step because it's like an eraser, but it's not. Now, this is probably going to be my favorite part because I don't, this is like, you could leave it at this, which is just a nice normal eye look, or you can bump it up a little, and I'm going to use the color key, this purple one here, and I am going to take it and put it in the inner corners of my eye. And I'm going to line it right here and put it just on the outer third of the underneath of the eye. It's just a real quick, like, boom, to the end. It just, it's ever so subtle. Now I'm just going to blend it out a little. Now I'm just going to do my brows. Like, I all, like, I like my brows a little bit darker. Some people are like, no, you should keep your brows like I like them a little bit darker. So with my highlighter, I'm just going to go over them with a soft hand, filling them in and creating teeny tiny marks. So that's my brows. Um, With this, I mean, I don't really feel the need to use an eyeliner um, on the waterline, but I will tight line. which is the upper lash line. And curl my lashes. One, two, three, three, two, one, two, three. So I'm gonna take Lash Delita by Maybelline. Favorite mascara ever. And just put it on my eyes. The lip gloss I'm going to use is called Pommy Cider. Um, I don't think you can buy this anymore at um, Bath and Body. It's a uh, lip luscious. It was like limited edition. And I'm just going to put it on my lips. 
but any like purplish red sheer color will do. It's almost like a cherry, almost like a maraschino cherry color. And I love this color on my lips, so I think it works actually really well with this look because it's like a little bit neutral and then um, my lips. And this is just a little bit darker than my natural lip color. So um, your lip color can depend on pretty much whatever you want. If you want the look to be a little more dramatic, if you want the lip color to be lighter than yours, to lighten it up, or whatever you want to do. So that is pretty much all for this video. So comment, rate, subscribe. Didn't do the cheeks because I don't... I don't know. I feel, I feel like blush isn't really needed in this look. When I come back from the pool and I get a tan, I don't really imagine myself having blush on. So, wear blush if you want. Um, bronzer. You yeah, can. that's about it for this video, and I will see you later. Okay, bye. You know, it's never simple, never easy. There's so strange things about me. You're the only one I know. In the back of my head. Chin, chin off, chin off, chin off. I don't know. I'm bad with Spanish. That's probably not Spanish, but you know, whatever.